Also making news tonight, former NFL player Zach Stacy is in the Orange County Jail tonight. He was arrested as soon as he landed at OIA late last night, just hours after we first showed you the video of what appears to be him attacking his ex-girlfriend. Fox 35's Dave Puglisi has been with this breaking exclusive information on the story. So Dave, Stacy appeared in court but hasn't posted bail yet. John, that's right. He's going to remain locked up here until he can turn over his passport. We're told that he didn't have it when he landed in Orlando to turn himself in. Zachary Stacy uh, Sr. A shackled in mass Zach Stacy, once used to hearing his name announced in NFL stadiums, is now hearing it in an Orange County courtroom. Stacy facing charges stemming from this violent encounter. Stacy's ex-girlfriend, Kristen Evans, is the woman you see being ragdolled in front of her five-month-old son. She spoke exclusively with Fox 35 as she tried to find a safe place to stay. Every time a car has passed by, uh, I am resisting the urge to look uh, to see who it is. I, I started crying when you walked up because um, I'm, sc I'm scared, you know? Stacy turned himself into police Thursday night after he learned of a warrant out for his arrest. Our original plan was that we were going to uh, meet at the Orange County Jail, surrender him there, but apparently someone recognized him in the airport and or Orlando Police Department made the arrest on site. Stacy's legal team now trying to uncover all the facts in the case. First and foremost, we don't know if that's the entire video. There is a rule of what they call the rule of completeness. One of the first things that we're gonna to wanna to know in this case is whether that's the absolute, complete, full video from start to finish, and that it has been not edited, altered, or tampered with in any way, shape, or form. Our safety is the number one concern right now. After a terrifying experience, I'm grateful that Zach Stacy is currently in police custody. At present, I've filed a restraining order and plan on filing a civil complaint. Evans went on in her statement to say that if you call out Commissioner Roger Goodell of the NFL, saying that he should do more to help people struggling with PTSD from consistent concussion-like symptoms. So I'm told that this weekend she's going to be using that time to decompress from this week's events. In Orlando, Dave Puglisi, Fox 35 News.